Welcome to today's lesson on adding equals to both sides of an equation. Today we're going to be discussing why it's so important to make sure that both sides of your equation are equal to each other. Let's go ahead and get started. Our focus today is making sure that you understand how important it is to keep an equation balanced. That means having the amounts or values on both sides of the equal sign being the same value. For example, I have the number 2. 2 has an equal value to 1 plus 1. This is a balanced equation. We have the same value on the right-hand side of the equal sign as we do on the left. Let's make this a little bit more complicated. What if I change out my numbers and I now have 123 on the left-hand side of the equation? What can I add to make this a balanced equation? Well, if we have a value of 1 plus 1, that's equal to 2. So 2 plus what will equal 123? Well, if we add 121 plus 2, that equals 123. So we just use our problem solving skills to balance this equation and make sure that the right hand side has the same value as the left hand side. The last problem is pretty easy, but what happens once your numbers start to get larger? So now we have 652 plus 305 plus 78 on the left hand side of the equation. That has an equal value to 305 plus a mystery number. Now, as you can see, I have some number bars below. Our first block is going to represent 652. The second block will represent a value of 305. And our last block will represent a value of 78. On the right hand side, our first block will represent a value of 305. And then we have our mystery number to represent the remaining portion of this block. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add up these numbers on the left hand side to find out the value of this entire block. 652 plus 305 plus 78. 5 plus 2 equals 7, plus 8 equals 15. 5 plus 1 equals 6, plus 7 equals 13. 6 plus 3 equals 9, plus 1 equals 10. So on the left hand side, this entire block has a value of 1035. Now, if this block is equal to this one, because we have an equal sign, that means that this entire block also has a full value of 1,035. So if we know that this portion is representative of 305, as we see right here, we have to subtract 305 from 1,035 to find our remaining piece. So now let's go ahead and subtract. 1,035 minus 305. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 3 minus 0 equals 3. We can't subtract 3 from 0, so we need to regroup our thousands place into 10 hundreds. 10 minus 3 equals 7. So that means that our missing piece is 730. Let's go ahead and check our work. We can also notice that on the right hand side, we're going to be adding 305, and on the left hand side, we're adding 305. So that means that 652 plus 78 should have a value of our missing number 730. So let's go ahead and add those together to check our work. 652 plus 70. 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 5 plus 7 equals 12 plus 1 equals 13. And 6 plus 1 equals 7. So our numbers match. That means that we successfully found our missing number. So when you're trying to add larger numbers, it's important to find out what the whole is 
and then you can subtract what you have for your missing piece. Let's go ahead and try another practice problem together. Now as you can see, this problem has parentheses. Now remember, parentheses tell you the order of operations. So when we're adding the left-hand side of this equation, we're going to add these two numbers first, and then we can add 157. So let's go ahead and add our left-hand side. 874 plus 182. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 7 plus 8 equals 15, so we're going to regroup our 1. 8 plus 1 equals 9, plus 1 equals 10. So the value in our parentheses is equal to 1,056. But let's figure out how much this entire left-hand side has. So 1,056 plus 157. 6 plus 7 equals 13. 5 plus 5 equals 10, plus 1 equals 11. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. So the left-hand side of this equation has a value of 1,213. Now we need to find the right-hand side's missing number. So there are a few ways that we can do this. If you notice, we have 157 on the left-hand side and 157 on the right-hand side. That means that our missing number has a value of what's in the parentheses. But we can also use subtraction. If we know that the left-hand side has a value of 1,213 and the right-hand side has a missing number, we can subtract 157 from this number to find our mystery number. So our goal is to get 1,056 because that's the combination of these numbers together. So let's see if our math works out. 3 minus 7. We can't subtract 7 from 3, so we're going to have to regroup our tens place. 13 minus 7 equals 6. 0 minus 5. We can't subtract 5 from 0, so we're going to have to regroup our hundreds place. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 1 minus 1 equals 0. 1 minus 0 equals 1. So if we subtract, our missing number is 1,056. Well, let's see, is that the same number that we got over here? It is, and that means that we checked our work appropriately and got the correct answer. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're adding numbers in an equation, it's important to make sure that the left-hand side of your equation has the same value as the right-hand side of your equation when you're using an equal sign. To find your missing number, you're going to need to find the full value of your full side. So we're going to add 936 plus 426 plus 255. When we add these three numbers together, it gives us a value of 1,617. And since we're using an equal sign, that means that the right-hand side of the equation also has a value of 1,617. In order to find our missing piece, we can subtract what we know we have, 936, from our whole, 1,617. And when we subtract those two numbers, we get a value of 681.